Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hermione for those of you who are new here and today I'm going to be talking about chokers and showing you guys how to make some DIY chokers. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, like this video and check out my social media and it will be linked in the description bar. So let's go ahead and make some chokers. There's a few things that you will need for these DIYs, some charms, a lobster clasp and some jump rings, a scissors, ribbon or lace and some all-in-one jewellery pliers. To start you're going to need to take the measurement of your neck and you're going to use this for all of the chokers so I'm taking a piece of ribbon and seeing how long my neck is, cutting it down to size and this will be the base. This first choker is a simple lace choker with a charm on the front and this is the base for most of our chokers. So you're going to start by cutting your lace down to size and then what you're going to do is use some jewellery fasteners like so and clamp them to place with the jewellery pliers. Once that's done on both sides add a jump ring to each hole and then a lobster clasp closure on only one of the holes. And then you have a fully functioning choker necklace that looks something like this. This is how I'm making the base of all of the necklaces and using the closures to close them together. For this one, once that is done, I'm just adding a charm on the front and you can buy these in the paper craft section of the craft store or even the jewelry making section. And I'm just using a needle and thread to sew that into place. And this is the finished choker necklace. The next one is pretty similar but I'm using an old earring to show you guys that you can use anything that you find in your house. I'm cutting off the end of it with the pliers and I'm just taking that earring back off. And then I'm going ahead and sewing once again the earring into place. You want to make sure that it's not too heavy so it doesn't weigh down the lace. Once that's been done, snip off the excess thread and there is your choker necklace with an earring. This pink lace choker has been made using the exact same technique, so I'm just going to review it really quickly. Put the clasps on, add junk rings to the clasps and then use a lobster claw to close the necklace together. So simple and so easy and you can use these on a variety of different types of material. So here are a few of those. You can use a thick ribbon and a longer closure and you can make a thick ribbon choker. Or you can use rickrack elastic in any colour that you would like and close that together to make an elastic choker. The possibilities are kind of endless here. So next here is something really different, it's a bandana choker. What I did is I took a bandana and cut two of the edges off facing each other so I had a really long strip of fabric as you can see here. Then I'm going to fold in the edges and use some hot glue to keep them in place. Make sure both edges on either side are folded over nicely so you don't have a raw edge showing. And you're just going to repeat this gluing process, folding the bandana on top of itself multiple times until you reach the end. And once you have finished, here is the final outcome. All you have to do is take the bandana and then tie it around your neck, tying it in a loose knot at the front. The next one I'm going to show you is this tassel choker and this one is very simple too. So take some faux suede cord and then you're going to measure out three of the lengths of the ribbon that you measured earlier as your base ribbon. To finish up the edges you're going to need to use crimps and then you're going to bend them into place once again using the jewellery pliers. And then on the end you can attach a jump ring and some tassels. You can either make tassels or buy some pre-made ones from the craft store. To wear it you just wrap it around your neck twice and then tie it in a very loose knot at the bottom and voila, there you have it. Okay so let's make the most basic and simple choker on the list and this is the one I wear in a lot of my videos. So you're going to take your measuring ribbon and then you're going to measure out three times this length to make the bow. All you have to do for this one is obviously wrap it around your neck and then tie it very loosely around your neck, not too tightly, and then tie it in a bow. And the best type of ribbon for this, I think, is thin, flat ribbon, as it looks kind of like the one I have here. We're on the home stretch, and this next one is actually a chain choker. So all I'm doing is taking a chain from an old necklace that I got from Poundland, would you believe? And I'm breaking off the end of it so I can unthread this charm off it. 
and then I'm going ahead and measuring it to the size of my ribbon and cutting it down to size. I made sure to keep the end with the closure intact so all I had to do was add a jump ring to the other end and there we have it, there is my choker. I added a charm using another jump ring and a charm from a craft store but once again you can use anything from an old necklace to earrings or whatever you have lying around. And just be careful when you cut the chain, make sure you have enough space to put a few of your fingers between the chain and your neck, just to be careful. And lastly, I'm making a choker with a stone that I had lying around. I love these charms, but I don't have one, so I tried to make one. All I'm doing is using a bit of super glue on the back on the flat side of the stone, adding some string. I'm using very thick black string and then making sure that when I wrap it around it goes through the glue. This would look really nice with wire but I didn't have any so the string works too and then I'm just adding a jump ring to the back. I'm wrapping it around a few more times just to make sure it stays in place and then I'm using a little bit of glue once again to fix all of the strings in place on the back. This is what it looks like. The back looks pretty bad, but the front looks really cute. So all I'm doing is using another piece of string, threading that onto my choker and tying it in a knot. And then I'm just using the same method to add clasps to the choker and then I can close it up again. And this is what it looks like. I'm super happy with how this one turned out. That is everything I have to show you guys in this video. I hope you liked it. Let me know if you're gonna try any of these in the comments down below or send me a picture if you make some. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.